SJ cams and this is another SJ cam action camera. Uh, this particular one uh, there's all this paraphernalia here so we'll just sort of take it off a bit. This is a just a lens cap that comes with it and the camera now is actually mounted on a cradle here which this little cradle which gives you a mounting point top and bottom so if we take it off the cradle that's the cradle I just put that to one side that's the lens cap that comes with it this is an extra uh, item which um, I bought with it which is um, obviously a selfie stick that's, uh, that's pretty good but um, down here uh, you've got this remote control with a little remote control item which actually it's very difficult to get out of its cradle. Right, so this little remote control will allow you to um, take pictures remotely, start the camera videoing remotely and you can turn it off remotely and you can start the Wi-Fi. You cannot turn it on remotely which um, bit of a nuisance really as that's actually sometimes one of the things that you want to do remotely the problem now I should like this camera really um, because it's got a lot of things going for it I think it's got a nice little screen at the back it's a very nice it's a nice little size it's an SJ cam it isn't a lot different from some of the others uh, not a lot different actually even you know from this first SJ cam the, that I did This is the, the, the M10 and this is the M20. It's very light, but I just somehow don't get on with it. First of all, it's low light, I find, maybe I haven't got the settings right, but it's low light ability for videoing is poor. Also, the sound that I'm getting off of it is very poor. The, the uh, video quality seems very good. I'm quite pleased with the, um, the, the pictures. Very, the clarity is excellent. Um, so that, that part of it is very good. But the sound is not. is not. Anyway. Uh, the, we'll, we'll, I think we'll try this one now on, the, um, on a car. We'll get this stuck onto a car. Oh, I know there was just one thing, other thing I was going to say about this. This has got the usual SJ cam problem, uh, which I make. I find it makes it impossible almost to to use the camera and have it with me. Is you only have to just touch that button, and the camera starts up. So there again, I've got a lot of video footage of the inside of my pocket because it's so easy to to, to just touch this button. It makes it slightly easier if you put it in the cradle uh, then the button is slightly recessed in, uh, in this cradle you can carry it around in the cradle but actually it, it's not a practical camera in my view as an action camera because it's just so easy and th the way you handle this camera is to actually handle it like this but if your finger in inadvertently there touches the that button uh, it started up and then, then you start getting into the menu Anyway, right, there is a case with it, uh, so we'll, we'll put the camera in the case. So it's got its little waterproof case dedicated to this particular shape. So there we have the camera safe in its little housing, waterproof housing. And we've got the magnetic clamp on it again. So we'll go out and stick this onto a car and see what this looks like uh, taking some pictures from the front of a car. Another SJ Cam, the, S the uh, SJ Cam M20. Right, well, here we are. We've got the SJ Cam M20 in its housing. And uh, we've got a very dusty uh, Jaguar here. So, uh, we'll possibly put it there, do you think?
Okay, that probably looks all right. And uh, all we've got to do is to uh, push the button once because it starts easily. Uh, that powers it up. And then we'll push the second button that will start it recording video.